How's it going everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. This is episode 2 of my new hardcore survival and we're currently on day 5 and today I wanted to start off with exploring a little bit of this ocean right here. Now there's nothing like super special about it really. It's just a standard ocean nowadays but there is a shipwreck right here and another one right there and I'm hoping both have some decent loot in here for me. So we're going to start off with that and let's see what's in here. Um... How do I get in? Alright, so I guess we had to go through the top right here. Let's be very careful. This is hardcore. We don't want to die because of a shipwreck. And those are good. Okay, and out, 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 out. Alright, perfect. And uh, bad timing. We need to sleep. Alright, we're all rested now. It's always important to sleep on hardcore to keep the mobs from not spawning. As well as, obviously, keeping those stupid phantoms away we don't want to deal with them now i haven't seen this area before this mountain right here that's a gorgeous freaking mountain right there not the greatest to build on it's a little square kind of but it does looks awesome how high up it is i like this area more though um i have not seen that village before there's like five different villages in this area it's so awesome um this looks beautiful out here but anyway better um down here let's see what's in this oh more diamonds i can make an enchantment table am i really gonna get an enchantment table in episode two okay funny thing happened my dog was underneath my desk and pulled out my <laughs> wire that was plugged into the wall so i just disconnected but i just got two diamonds from this beautiful chest down there and i'm excited about it because i got these three diamonds from the the buried treasure at near spawn so i'm able to make an enchantment table Ooh, very treasure map i can make a enchantment table now if i just go find some obsidian somewhere <laughs> i'm set i can get an enchantment table without having to even enchant or sorry not enchant without a uh, mining for diamonds so that's awesome you know we'll take a suspicious stew may as well and yeah that was a decent shipwreck got some good stuff from it um, we did get good buried treasure last time, so we will do this real quick. Um, it's not the funnest process, so I'll just find this off camera real quick. And, oh. It led me to this place. On my way home here, I have found another massive cave. This one's really cool with the local water levels. And it has these big pillars in, in it again, and... This looks so awesome. I ain't going in there because it looks scary, but super cool. And it's also in my way. I have to go around it. So I found a pretty cool thing right here. Right by our base, just over there, there is this lava pool. And I figure I might as well just go on ahead and put the obsidian to make the enchantment table right now. Now that we have everything we need for the enchantment table, we can just go back here and grab one of these books we have in our chest. And we can go ahead and grab this enchantment table right now. Let's see, do you get enchantment? Or That's nice. I guess you don't get an advancement for crafting it, but when you enchant something. I do have a little bit of lapis in here. I can go ahead and... I guess we'll just go for efficiency one. Um... On hardcore, I think it's probably smart to enchant all of your armor. Um, don't want that. Let's see, what do we have? Section 1, Aquafinity would be nice. I'm just going strictly for survival right now. Don't want that. Perfect. I'm perfect. All right, so the big plan for today's episode is just getting the starter base done. Since I did not build it last episode, I was just busy exploring. And you can see I've been trying to collect the materials for it. I planted a couple of... Oh, that just grew. So I planted a few trees here. There's not really too many trees around this area, and it's kind of been a slow process. I need a lot more wood than I have right now. I need tons of spruce logs, tons of oak logs. That's going to be the main things I build out of, as well as cobblestone, so that's something I'm going to be doing quite a bit of here, and I'll do most of that off camera. 
So my current strategy for gathering cobble is just staircasing down towards diamond level. Obviously we won't go all the way to diamond level because then we'll just run into deep slate. And I do love deep slate, but that's not what we're using right now. Alrighty, I got a decent amount of stuff on me right here. I'm not sure if it's enough. And I do still have some stone smelting as this build is going to include a decent amount of stone in it. And we're going to go over to where we're building. Just right over here. And now I need to decide like if I want to level this out a bit or build it up. I think I'm going to level it out just like this. So we got it all laid out and now we're going to start actually building this puppy. So on the corners here we're going to build with stone bricks up four blocks on each corner here. These kind of act as the pillars on the bottom instead of using wood for it. And now what this, the reason I used um, spruce right here instead is it means that it's going to be like a kind of a different thing built off the side of the house. And we're actually just going to leave that as it is for now. There we go. And it's like we just need a little bit more of this. We'll go ahead and do that. Um, I think we can leave that be. All right, so now we're just going to start randomly placing these in. There's really no order or method to it at all. You just place and go. Um, if you see something like that where maybe there's too much in one spot, you can break it. Put it somewhere else. I'm gonna go like that. And I think I like the way this looks. A lot of the time when I do this, I will have the cobblestone placed first all the way, which sometimes helps. So instead, you, all you have to do is just build it up like this. And then you go through and poke a few different holes in it. I'm not really sure which way works the best or is more efficient. It's really just a matter of opinion, probably. Um, again, the the, uh, the block that you choose to build it with first is usually going to have the most in there. So if you look at that, maybe judge it compared to this stuff. Maybe it looks better, I don't know. All right, now that we got this whole thing done at the bottom, this is going to be the bottom of the build. And I don't know, maybe the texturing isn't perfect. Honestly, I'm like, that would looks ugly to me. We're just going to roll with it for right now. Um, I can always fix it up later, but I just kind of want to get this daughter base build. It's a little bit of a more expensive build, obviously. Um, some might say it's not a starter build, but I think it is. So what we're doing is we want to place these down in all corners, six blocks up. So two, three, four, five, six. And then along the whole way, we'll just go like this. And yeah, this is really my favorite type of style house to do. Um, I'm building out of a bit different blocks than I usually do. I usually like um, stripped birch logs in the center or diorite and concrete, I think looks amazing. But today we're going to be doing oak inside of it which I think is actually going to look pretty good with the design I have for it. Now, this I'm going to actually leave alone for now. I'm going to do that last because this is going to be like where a different roof size is. So I'm just going to keep going in all the corners. I'll go on this one, I guess. That's six. I won't connect it just yet. Like that. Now these are going to be stripped and that is something I forgot and I know and so in this spot right here I want to go like this so in the middle areas I'm going to have pillars built up like this um, except I'll leave at the top I hope I'm not just wasting tons of wood you can see what I want from this it's really nice so far and it's all going to be stripped so we'll go along the top here and strip everything I've placed work our way over here 
And I think I do want to put one right there. Actually, it's not necessary, so I'm just going to leave it. If I did place one there, it wouldn't be seen ever. Yeah, that's nice. That's basically framework done right there. Now, we do have this area right here that I did kind of forget about. This one is going to be a little bit different, so we're going to break it here. We're going to build up to the same height with it. All right, we get it all connected now. That'll be good with that. Now I want to make sure that I'm building everything right so I don't have to redo it all again. But there are going to be logs laid out across right here. Of course, they'll all be stripped. Boom. All this will be stripped as well. I can strip this stuff later. It's not super important to get done right now. All right, so now that we got all of the framework in, it gets a lot easier from here. Now we're just going to start off with building the floor on the second floor right here. So this is kind of like the basement area, even though it's not on the ground. It's kind of like the basement because it's all, you know, cobblestone and stuff. The reason I'm building the floor right now is I'm, I mean, I'm figuring it'll <laughs> make it a lot easier for me while I build the second floor all the walls and stuff. We're gonna go ahead and fill this in. And I gotta say, this is, um, I'm having a difficult time commentating while building this. I'm not really sure why. It's honestly just, it's been so long since I had really been doing commentary, especially in Minecraft. So sometimes you just have dead moments in the game where you just don't know what to say. Like when you're placing all these blocks, it's like, it can be tough to speak sometimes. It's really weird. Yeah, so that's nice to have done. And we do actually want this area to be open for our staircase that will be there at some point, which is just currently going to be dirt for the moment. So I can get up easily. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to be doing a mixture of oak planks and stripped oak logs. So like over here we'll be we'll like place just like a couple down. We'll just go like this, kind of differentiate them a little bit, strip them, and that looks super nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'll come back to you guys once I have that done. As you can see, we have got that part done. It looks really, really good. I usually don't do it too often. I usually do it on like barn style builds. Um, but I do like it here and I figured it would be, be a bit easier to build out of than diorite and concrete. Now this area here you can see is it, it sticks out here, but there's no room down below. So it's kind of like a balcony, but it's closed in there. What I want to do is I want to do this at the bottom to give it some more support on the pillars. And I crafted just the perfect amount for it. Then I'm going to put some stairs. Oops, in these areas right here. That makes just some little arches. I think that looks pretty nice. We'll add trap doors in all of these spots right here as well. But what we need to do now is... And I don't think we have enough wood for this. Which is a shame. Because I freaking hate collecting wood. Maybe I should stop building a wood so much, but <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to start right here we're hang the roof right here. Roof is always the hardest part of builds. So we're just going to go like that. Boom. We're doing the high roof. I always enjoy doing these. This is actually probably one of the easier parts of the build, to be honest. So it just comes to there. We'll need to put a slab right here when we can. So we'll go right here, do it as well. Like that. I just love building these roofs like this. Like, <laughs> I remember the day I learned how to do these roofs, I was just so happy with life. <laughs> yeah, so we'll go the way like this. And then it's gonna connect over this way, come to here. 
And then on this side, we do the same thing as well. And when it's all said and done, it'll meet together perfectly. However, I'll probably need to go get some wood pretty soon here. Just go like that. We'll worry about this part and that part later. Yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying this episode. I have kind of been all over the place with it. It's been taking me a long time to do the starter house, even though it's actually super simple. I've just kind of been struggling with my commentary. I've constantly been having to take breaks today and whatnot because I just haven't really known what I've been doing. Now, I'll also lay out the area on this roof. So you'll notice here that it looks a bit scuffed with the way it's designed right now, and it's meant to be that way. Um, I do want to put spruce right there. I ran out we're gonna put the stairs right here and we're just gonna do a normal roof here I don't know why it's normal it's just doesn't have the high peaks on it it's just simple like that and place them on this side gotta have the overhang I also forgot that little bit I reach dang it <laughs> crap so annoying. I don't want to waste wood. There we go. And we're just going to meet it up here. I like doing this because it just makes the roof a little bit different. This is something I really didn't start doing till recently. We need another slab as well. But yeah, you can see that's going to look really nice. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, I got lucky. Oh man, I was just sitting there crafting. Oh, you had to be kidding me. Where the crap did he come from in here? Oh gosh. Oh, get me out. Yes, zombie, get him. Yes, epic battle. Perfect. All right, that... I was literally just thinking, I'm like, that could be dangerous having that big cave right there while I'm just crafting. Did he blow up my stuff? Oh man, he totally blew up my stairs and stuff. I'm pretty sure he blew up the stairs I was crafting, dang it. But I do think that we should be able to get this finished really soon here. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do like all the interior today. In fact, I know I can't. So the interior will be done in the next episode for sure. But I am running out of time here, so I gotta get this built quick. I've been working so freaking slow I can't imagine how sad I would have been if I died right there because I spent so much time on this and just having an awesome episode one and two that it would just been so sad to have lost this world right there oh no I'm out of food I'm out of food and I'm getting chased down by everything in the game I'm so scared I just realized that the creeper blew up my bed I can't even sleep. So my current plan is to freaking run to the village and sleep as fast as possible. I don't even have wool. We got to get there though. I've been trying to do this intro here for like 10 minutes now. I had such bad hiccups while trying to do it and I think I finally got rid of them. I had to like go get a jar of peanut butter and eat that. That helps with getting rid of hiccups sometimes. <laughs> But yeah, you can see I haven't necessarily finished it, but we have the main thing done here. It has taken a while. Wood is expensive at the beginning of the game when you're mining with an axe and you have like a million logs as part of your build. And it's not even that detailed of a build. Like it's just a simple oak, but it does look good. It's a nice starter base. Um, I went ahead and lit up this cave right here. So I didn't, I didn't do it all the way. It's just the area where mobs can get to me from. I also put this barrier right here. So hopefully we won't get creeper bombed again. I mean that the series almost ended right there. You can see we have done this and I have added these little um, 
overhang things. I don't know what to call them right now. But yeah, these look nice. This one is a little bit different. It kind of slants down sideways. I like that. Um, this one's just a more simple one. Looks good. We'll just do a little loop around here. Um, it looks pretty nice in my opinion. I really like this. I like this part of the roof where it's I kind of not symmetrical at all. I think that looks good when you do that in builds. I come all the way around the side and have this nice beautiful view right here. But we do have some stuff to do with it still though. We need to do the interior first of all. Um, I'm not sure if I'll do a lot of interior on camera or not. Um, we need to put a staircase in of course. We just have spruce floor. Which is probably perfect. And the upstairs here right here is going to be where my chests are. I'm going to have furnaces right here. I'll have like my bed over here. Maybe some type of kitchen thing. Um, I think I want to have a balcony around here somewhere as well. It would look really nice. Yeah, but what we're going to do right now. Is we're going to add in the spruce door. Spruce door. Uh, spruce trap door detail is along with the fence gates. So what I want to do is on each of these corners here I want to place these and I don't do I don't do this all the time because I think it can Add just a little bit too much detail. I don't even know if I want one right there actually um, Oops Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that Which I Compared to what it looks like without them. I think I do want to have it there. I'm not gonna put it right there because I'm going to have my balcony right there, which we'll be doing soon. I think we want it right there. So yeah, you can tell that adds a lot to it. I really like that. But then the spruce fence gates, what we're going to be doing with these is... You can see right here we have these um little uh, arches on there. So we won't put them there, but I don't know if we can reach or not. We'll have to place a couple blocks. We're just going to place those like that. I love doing that. That's like one of my favorite details to do nowadays. It looks so good. Um, I think we want one right like that as well. I really want scaffolding so bad. I think we'll put one right here. It's a little awkward how high up this build is, to be honest. Like how tall it is. I don't like having such long pillars on a smaller build. But whatever, it's unique. Got that. I believe that's all of it. For that. We'll uh, step back and get a look at it. That yeah, looks good over there. Um, we want to put another right here, actually. Up. Oh, and voila. Now, some of the other details I want to do is... Doing these little flower box things like this. I hope I have enough trapdoors to do everything I want because I spent so much time collecting wood for this stuff. And actually, I don't think I have enough trapdoors for everything I want to do. And I don't even have the flowers to put in, in that right now, so we won't be able to do that. So actually, I do want to stay up here and want to do a little bit of a detail here. I think we'll go. We want to put the shutters on it. That. That is not where I wanted to place that. Just like that should be good. Um, I might want to put it on both sides. I think that might be overdoing it though, because technically you don't need to. You just need one and it folds over. Yeah, we're going to be doing that on all of the windows. Um, I don't think we'll put one above that, just one like that. Um, since there's this overhang right here. I do kind of want to put a little frame around this door as well, even though technically doesn't need one because it has this above it. And maybe we can just do something like this. So it has more detail. That, that's nice. It doesn't make total sense, but it makes it look better. Um, this one, how about we just do that? Do we have any other windows? I know we do. Where are they? Here. Um, I think I want to do one on this. Let's see, let me build up. Let's 
So we'll do that. Uh, maybe we'll go craft some more trapdoors. How much wood do I have? Um, I think I have enough. We'll do that. We'll just craft a whole stack of spruce wood into trapdoors. Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun on here. Um, oops, I didn't want to do that exactly. I did kind of take a little break from recording these episodes, even though I still am just on episode two. I kind of took a little break because I just got tired, <laughs> and then, then I got really busy after taking a break. <laughs> so that maybe take a break isn't the best idea for me. Yeah, we'll just do one there. It looks really nice. Um, we want to build up right here so we can add. Let's see. Where did it go? Oh, we have it on us. I'm stupid. Put up there. And there we go. Um, I did also want to put a balcony right here. So what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll add these. Right here. We don't see those logs. And if we have the slabs on us, which we do, we'll just create a little balcony like this. I didn't design this house originally to have a balcony on it, but after um <laughs> after building this, I realized how nice of a view it is, and it's like I just need a balcony on this. So unfortunately, while building this balcony, I realized that I had actually built part of the house wrong here. And this area was one too short from how I designed it. And it kind of messed up a few things. So I had to move out this entire thing one block, which was annoying. But you can maybe tell the difference. I'll just hop on over. Yeah, so the balcony is a little longer now. Anyways, thanks for watching episode two of my hardcore series here. I'm having a lot of fun. It took me a bit longer than I wanted to for this stupid starter base to get built, but at least it's done. We're at day freaking 25 right now. Actually, 26. Holy crap. So it took me a while. I have fooled around a lot, done a lot of resource gathering and whatnot. But yeah, I, I was hoping to be progressed further at this point, but <laughs> oh, well, that's fine. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.